time we are really at 85 mil on the 24 to 120. Here in the golden hour, got about half hour to sunset uh, here in Arlington at the mother-in-law's again. She has a great pool, a great backyard. Um, I would like to film from over there with this as the background, but with the sun over there, I didn't want to be just front lit like that. So, so here we are. But uh, putting the Z62 through its paces here and uh, this lens, it's really crisp. I've already checked out some of the footage with the separation of myself and the house as the background. Um, I'm loving it. Uh, we'll see how the audio does with the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. I actually got this mic back in 2018 and I have just never used it really. I did with the, uh, the Dinosaur Valley down in Glen Rose video. That was about a half an hour goofing around that I made five and a half years ago and I posted that out last week onto the channel. Um, that was with the Rokinon 12 millimeter manual. And by the way, I went back to look at that because I thought the footage of that was pretty great from Dinosaur Valley, but I popped it on and I forgot how it's just kind of tough to use that thing. You have to go into your settings, not only to set the manual lens, but tell it to not recognize a lens or something like that. That was with the, the Fuji system. I don't have any manual lenses for the Nikon here. But uh, what I wanted to try out is we have this 85 mil here. Um, I know the 50 1.8 is supposed to be the bee's knees, as they say, for this Nikon Z system. I tried that out uh, when I first got the camera last summer, and I mean, it, it was great, but with most of my shooting outdoors, I didn't really, you know, need the F 1.8. But now that I'm shooting more indoors as well, doing some talking head stuff, um, I might try that again. Uh, you can get them pretty good used deals. Uh, they're not cheap, but for as good as they are, uh, they're a great deal. So we'll be trying that soon enough. Um, as far as the golden hour shoot in Fort Worth the other day, I still haven't put that together yet. Uh, still working on that. I, you know, I didn't really love the footage I got. It was just all the road noise, all the cars, and it was pretty windy, and just uh, it kind of makes the the audio unusable with all of that wind noise, even with the dead cat on it. So I'll have to do some voiceover for that, and uh, you know, picking that up. So uh, shouldn't be too tough just to record some voice and uh, have the audio track for that. And we'll see how that turns out. Uh, as far as the shots go, um, no complaints. Um, I also have some, some stills that I had taken from a couple weeks earlier uh, with the Fuji and with the Nikon um, at the same focal length and the same exact shots, uh, just photos. So. That'll be a good comparison, I think. Um, that's actually more interesting to me than the walking around vlogging that I did the other day. Um, just you know, didn't love it, but I'll see what I can make of it um, and put it all out here when I can. So uh, that's about it for now, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.